hi guys welcome to my channel once again thank you so much for um tuning in as always um you guys have to bear with me i have a new camera as well as in a new house now we did purchase our house finally thank god um has so much more room and eventually i will do a house tour for everyone um but again i just wanted to thank everybody excuse me let me try to adjust this um okay um I thank everybody for being patient with me and hanging in there. Um, I did want to do a quick video because I did do a haul of a new plant. Um, you know me, I, I get excited and um, when I go to, whether it's a grocery store or if I go, um, in this case, me and my husband went to a Home Depot and I seen a plant that I had been wanting to get for the longest and um, so without further ado, I'm going to show you the plant that I got. It is a known plant. A lot of people um, I've seen um, has this plant in their homes. Um, I think it looks beautiful and it adds a different variety um, as far as the other plants that I do have in the home right now. Um, but it is, let's see if you guys can see it. Let me back up a little bit. It is the Philodendron Brazil. And I just love the variegations on the plant itself. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's also an easy uh, care plant. So for anyone who is looking for a plant that is easy to uh, take care of, doesn't need a whole lot of light, um, the Philodendron in Brazil is one of them. Um, it came with one of the, this is from the Exotic Angel Plants. Um, this is a very popular one that, um, let me see if I can get that in there, um, that actually um, provides a lot of household um, and it, uh, actually outdoor plants as well. Um, I do like this plant because it is also a trailing plant. It is still in its nursery pot, so I'm not going to change it for a while. And in fact, I have many of um, plants in my home that are still in the nursery pot that I've had for over a year easy. Um, I feel there's no need to change a plant um, from its nursery pot until it, you feel it's getting root bound um, or it's outgrowing that pot itself. Um, in this case, you know what they say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I'm not fixing it yet because I, I can tell it's not, you know, root bound. And actually a lot of plants believe it or not do like to be root bound they actually perform better when they are root bound um in this case um once again this um philodendron is let me see if i can bring it down a little bit more it is um a easy care plant so if you don't have a lot of light in your home um or you don't have a good window to put it in, it's not a problem. Um, it doesn't want direct sunlight. Um, indirect sunlight is, is best for it. Um, but again, even if it's in a low light setting, it needs some form of light, but a low light setting works just as fine. Um, as far as watering schedule, I, I'm gonna put it on the watering schedule that I have uh, most of my pothos um, on. Um, definitely do the little finger test where you put your finger in it and if it's, um, once you put your finger in the soil, um, about an inch or two and it feels completely dry, then go ahead and water it. I typically water my, uh, pothos plants that I have in the home now, um, typically about every two weeks, um, just given each situation. Um, in the winter time, I tend to not water as often, um, as well as far as fertilizing this new one I got, I won't fertilize this, um, for probably until late spring, early summer. Give it time to adjust in its surrounding. Um, and with most of the plants that I do get, um, that I purchase, I actually kind of isolate them for a while. So this one, uh, for the time being, is actually on the island right behind me. I'm gonna just put it on there um, for at least about a week or two. Um, obviously, I'll move it out the way when I do need to use the island. Um, but I just don't want it around any other plants in case there is anything going on with it that I, that I can't notice just yet and I can't see just yet. Um, sometimes um, those big box stores, um, there's um, they might have underlying issues that you can't tell right away. So in this case, I'm definitely gonna wait a while um, 
about a week or two before I do um, put it with some of the other plants or close to any of the other plants. Um, now, because it is in a hanging basket right now, um, I am thinking about actually hanging it in my front living room um, once you first walk into the home. Um, again, right now, I'm not going to show you guys a home tour. I will very, very soon. Uh, we're still getting stuff together. We just bought the house um, a few months back, so I'm definitely still getting... Um, acclimated myself let alone the plants around here are getting acclimated themselves you can see i do have one plant right behind me on top of our refrigerator um that is the zz plant it is a low light that's an easy growing plant as well um i get sunlight as you can see in the kitchen um and right now it is four o'clock in the afternoon and there's no lights on in the kitchen at all this is just the natural sunlight it gets um which is really nice though up there it's a little dimmer a little darker um but again good for any low light maintenance plants um but back to the uh, philodendron brazil um if you guys i would definitely suggest getting one of these pretty babies um i don't know it's just so beautiful to me i would i would watch a lot of people's youtube videos and when they would do their plant hauls i would see and i'm like oh my gosh it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and i would go you know shopping at different places and i never seen it and like i said my husband and i was at um the home depot getting some um stuff for our driveway to clean oil off of our driveway and i'm like honey i'll be back i'll be in the garden section and of course it was calling my name so i had to get it um but i do thank you guys for stopping by um i will give you guys an update once i do get it situated into its forever home um wherever it's going to be whether i'm hanging it up or if i decide just to keep it you know um down maybe on a uh, on like a plant stand or something i will let you guys know i'll update you guys as far as the health and everything um i will be doing more videos um with where most of my plants are in the home right now um there are some plants that i've put in certain places since i've been here and i'm like eh, not feeling it so and it'll end up getting changed so um once again bear with me guys um and i thank you guys once again for tuning into my channel and being patient with me it's been a while since i um did any videos but i'm back and i'm ready to keep keep going i'm gonna try to do at least a couple videos if not one one a week um so if you guys would please please um subscribe like and also hit that bell icon um to be notified when i do do any um uh video so that that way you guys are up to date now mind you guys I just want a disclaimer i am not a professional i am just uh avid plant lover um that is for sure indoor plants for sure um and i'm still learning i've i've bought in plants that i've killed unfortunately um i've i've gotten plants i'm now uh especially in the family i got family members and friends and co-workers who've given me some of their plants to try to rescue and i have so i kind of pat myself on the back for that um but um, so if you guys see anything that I'm doing wrong or if there's something that you suggest um, or if you even just have video suggest suggestions, please leave them in the comment um, down below and I will try my hardest to get um, any videos that you guys are suggesting out um, as well as maybe change some things that you guys are suggesting, especially if I'm doing it wrong. I'm all for change and um, I love constructive criticism, something that's going to help me in the long run. Um, but once again, thank you guys <laughs> for coming by. Um, you guys have, be easy, take care, green vibes only.